So how does this work? Well, it starts with every language development, emotional context. You start to learn what do they care about? What do they like? What do they not like? What makes them upset, angry? Emotional context is critical to all communication. We know this. And then you get behavior. What are the routines? What are they like? Where, what is, wh when are they eating? When are they going out? This gives you a sense. When you have emotional context and behavioral context, you get majority of what you need in communication. Then you get intent. Intent is the what they want. And also, when you get a vocalization outside of the repertoire with process of elimination, you can tell what else is happening. And this is not purely AI. This is not Shazam for dogs. This is a language we're co-developing with animals because by 2030, we'll speak to all animals. I know that's hard to believe, but that's the reality. So now we have accepted this. <laughs> what does that look like? Well, what it looks like is that we have professional dogs. The dog will see you now. There's actually MIT research that shows that dogs are more effective at determining diseases and cancers than any of our diagnostic tools today at a cost that's way lower. If we had a dog National Guard, we would have eliminated a lot of COVID deaths. But the thing is that this money goes to companies, not to the agents that do it. And when you don't give agency to an animal doing the work that's intelligent and can communicate, you don't have that. So we have digital currency now, and if you incorporate that, that is a personhood. LLCs are people in the United States and most of the world. When you have companies that are people too, I think some of you are seeing the wheels are turning, you know where this is going. There are companies now that are autonomous organizations. You have a human that puts an agent in charge of making all the primary decisions. That creates the company and what ends up happening is you remove the person from the member of a business. Now, the agent is fully running the company. It is a fully autonomous organization. This has not been tested in the courts, but it will be <laughs> very, very shortly. And it'll make it up to the Supreme Court. So, the agents are now people too.